Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In the video coming up, we'll have a sneak preview of the new AppMail in Chrome OS. Okay, so there's a great new AppMail that is going to be launched on Chrome OS. On Chrome OS 126, you will be able to get it with a flag, but it won't be available until then. So I'm going to show you now how it looks. And later on in the video, I will show you how to use that flag. But bear in mind, you won't be able to use that flag until Chrome OS 126 is available on your Chromebook. And as of today's date, most of us are on Chrome OS 124. Okay, so down here, once it's installed, you will see this icon here. And if you click on there, you will see that you've got a nice presentation of apps that are available. Now bear in mind, this is a flag, so I'm sure it will be improved on over time, but it looks great as far as from what I can see here. From the home screen here, it's got apps and games for your Chromebook. So they've specifically gone to look for apps that are specifically working great with a Chromebook with a larger screen. So it gets away from that issue of going onto the Play Store if you want to look for, say, a graphics app and you may download a few before you get to the one you'd like because some of them just might not work that great on the Chromebook because they're more tailored towards someone using it on a mobile phone. So that's what this is really good for. But another thing it's really good for, instead of just Android apps, you've also got progressive web apps or just apps that you get from a browser. Now, these have, been, have become a lot more popular over the last year and they are really good. I use progressive web apps when I can. Now, to install progressive web apps I've got Microsoft 365 installed on my Chromebook there's different ways of doing it and it can be a bit clunky so this will remove that issue for you which is also good so from here if we just stay on the home screen for now as you can see we've got some featured apps so if we just have a look at this top one here you've got Canva and it's got install from Play Store so that essentially means that's where it's available and that's why there it's got get app so if you click on there it would go to a nice dialog box comes up like this and this is the play store and you just simply click install and then that will install it onto your chromebook which is great and then if we then look at the second one which is disney plus you'll see it's got two options available so you've got again you've got choose option you can install from play store so if you click on that again it will take you to a pop-up box to install disney plus r from the um, play store or the other option you've got here, install from the web. So you could click on here and it will install. Now this is the great part here. This is installing the web app, progressive web app, directly to your Chromebook without you having to do, do it different ways. Like I said, it, it, it works, but it, it, it with the browser sometimes there's an icon which says you can install a progressive web app sometimes there isn't and a lot of the times it's not clear whether the software is available as a progressive web app so this is really good so simply you just click install and that would then install it onto your chromebook so if we do let's just do one we'll do we will do the um we'll install that one I don't have a Disney Plus account, but I'm sure it'll install without that. And then we've got open app. So if we open the app, this is the app. And this is a progressive web app. It's essentially using a browser, but it's got a lot more functionality to it. And it's a lot more secure and stable than just using it directly on the browser. And then you'd log in. Now, if you close that down, you'd also have that now and cancel that. You'd also have that app installed down here for you. So even though it's not an Android app, it's not from the Play Store, it's from the web, you will still have it down here. There it is there. So then if you decide at a later date, or if you just want to use it, you're there. But once you've used it and you decide at a later date to uninstall it, you can just simply uninstall it from here. So I think this is really good. Now, first of all, um, there's not many, too many here. We've got show all apps let's have a look if you have a look not there's quite a few to be fair it's not too bad but it goes through all the different types of apps that are available and you've got here you've even got tab buttons at the top so you can if you're looking for a communication app you can click on communication and it will show you them apps that are available there and then creativity 
and then as you can see get app get app this one here choose option so therefore photo editor you can clearly see that it's not just available as an android app from the play store you can install it from the web as well fantastic absolutely fantastic um I won't go through this tab much more. I think we can see what happens here. It's got entertainment, you've got other, and you've got productivity, which is fine. There's also a search option as well, which is useful. So if there is an app that you use and you want to see if it is available for uh, on, on the web rather than just a Play Store, or you don't know, you just want to know where it is available in general, you can just search for it there, which is also good. So if we just search for Code Academy, because we can see it's there, just to show you that it works, all okay. Um, do I need a space or not? No, Code Academy, there we go. And there you go, it comes up like that. And there is a search box here, which will do the same thing. Now that's where we were there, and that's on the Home tab. And then you've got Apps here, and that's essentially where we were. And then here you've also got Games. Click on there, and it gives you a list of games, which is also really good. So as you can see, a lot of these games are installed directly from the Play Store, but then you've got one here, Boostroy Cloud and Gaming PWA, click there, and you've got the option to install from the Play Store or install from the web. So as you can see here, it's also got recommended. Now, I'm not sure whether that's the developer who's recommended it's best to use it from the Play Store rather than the web or not. So take it with a pinch of salt. I don't really want to say that because it may be the developer, maybe look into that a bit more if that's something you want to look further into. So you can see there's more games down here as well. And you've also got GeForce Now, which is a great gaming platform. You can play really advanced games on your Chromebook using GeForce Now. And this is what I really like because you may, you could go on the Play Store and spend a lot of time downloading games and they're not perfect. Here, this is essentially saying that all of these games should work perfectly fine on your Chromebook. Now, admittedly, for games at the moment, there's not many on the list, but I'm sure we, there will be more added over time. And like I said, this feature isn't even out on the Chrome OS stable channel yet. It will be available later on Chrome OS 1265 flag, which I'll show you in a second how to get that. Now, this is great. I think it's fantastic. What would be good other than this? Now, I'm not saying it's possible, but it, it would be nice if we could be looked to at in the future, is that people also install Linux on their Chromebooks. So you've got Linux apps. So that, that, at the moment, I would recommend when you install Linux to install a Linux web app. And I've got videos on my channel to show you how to do that. But it would be really good if that was integrated into this. However, I do also appreciate not all Chromebooks are gonna be compatible with Linux. So why would you want to give them the option? So here, for example, if we look here, we've got choose option. If there's a third option, install Linux app, someone might not realize why am I, why can't I install this? Why is this not working for me? However, I'm sure they could do some simple coding where either it looks at what the Chromebook is, the Chromebook is capable of running that Linux app, so therefore it will show it. Or another way is, only show them if someone's got Linux installed on their Chromebook. So I think that would be something that would be really good to see in the future because on things like creativity and productivity and graphics, you're gonna get quite some decent ones from Linux apps as well. So, but don't you get me wrong, this is fantastic and I think it's a really good way of finding apps that you want for your Chromebook straight from the desktop. So at the moment, I'm on Chrome OS 102, want Chrome OS 126, I'm on the developer channel. Wouldn't recommend going to the developer channel if you don't know, uh, if, you, if you're not confident in doing that. And also bear in mind, if you go back to a previous channel, you have to wipe your hard, your computer needs to do a power wash. So I wouldn't recommend it um, if you don't want to do that. So just bear that in mind. So at the moment, I'm on Chrome OS 126, and that's how you can get it. So we're on 124 at the moment. When we get onto Chrome OS 126, if you want to start using this, you would just simply go to the Chrome like that, open up your browser, type in Chrome, colon, slash, slash, and then flags, 
And this will automatically show me the ones that I've got installed. And as you can see, it's this one here that I've installed, enabled, sorry, um, Chrome OS app mail. And it enables an app to discover and install other apps, Chrome OS Lacroix. And if you want to search for it, because if you've not got it enabled when you open up the flag, it's best just to search for this here. So it's hash and then C R O S hyphen M A L L. And if you put that in there, hit return, it should at the moment on, on your Chromebook, it won't show if you're not using, if you're on Chrome OS 124, but when you get to Chrome OS 126, it will be on default. You simply change it from default to enabled click on the restart down the bottom and then you'll get access to it. But when it will be available on the stable channel, I don't know, but it seems pretty stable now to be fair and I'm on the developer channel. So by the time this is available on the stable channel, Chrome OS 124 via the flag, I think you can give it a try. When it will come into play where there's no flag needed, I'm not too sure. But I think this is a great way forward and it just shows that Google and Chrome OS are continually looking at ways to make the Chromebook easier to use. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.